go. Let's go with a Smeargle. I'm gonna load it up here. I'm just kind of like uh, Smeargle because you don't know what you're getting yourself into. There's infinite potential here. Oh yeah, it's, there's a, there, that's true. You can do a lot of different stuff. So if you want to do a couple builds, then that's cool. But let's always start where we like to start in the uh, stat categories here. So for I, I know Smeargle uh, starting out has some pretty kind of crappy base stats. So what what do we do with him? Uh, it depends on what you're doing. He can kind of do everything. Like, if you need a tanky build, it's really weak at first, but you can kind of shenanigan it. Okay. Then, if you're fortunate. Well, what do you think? What do you think is the. Let's, let's do the most common most way common, you would, I would build Smeargle. I would say max health, max speed. Okay, that's what I was hearing a lot yeah. earlier. So we're going to go max health, max speed, and then uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. Sometimes uh, Verlis likes to spread uh, EVs out a lot, but. Uh, Sometimes on certain Not Pokemon, either. it just requires a 252, 252. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did with uh, Smeargle. Anyway, uh, then let's uh, let's go to our move set. So with a 252 HP, 252 speed, where are we going with the uh, where are we going with the move set? Hmm. Again, it's pretty much anything you want him to be. You can actually give him the Moody ability. Smogon doesn't like that, but you can use it if you're not playing. Yeah, that you can way. use it in uh, VGC, correct? Yes, if you're doing the Wi-Fi rank battles, it's it's legal. All right, and then uh, and then so what so what are we gonna put on him then? Um, spore is top because everyone pretty much uses it. Okay. If you don't, if you have a conscious like me, I don't choose to use sleep claws too much. Or I don't try to put Pokemon <laughs> to sleep. You, um, can... you don't you don't like it because uh, you think it's cheap. You think that yeah. why, how come you don't like spore? Uh, just because like even though I don't agree with the Smogon doing it for to like go against VGC. Mm -hmm. I, I still don't like using it. Uh -huh. I would try to I would try to come up with something more powerful because it can get countered if they wake okay. up. But spore is something you'd probably just want to see on it. And why spore? Is it because you put them to sleep and then you can do the rest of your setups, or is it just because yes. Smeargle's it's more weak? Sleep and it just goes. It works. Okay, cool. So then, what's what's next after spore? Um, let's try to come up with a move set here. I I like putting King Shield on him. Okay. And why are we running a King Shield on Smeargle? It's a chance to just lower their attack, and they'll never see it coming. Okay, protects users from attack, and uh, contact contactors get negative attacks. So, um, is is that also hoping that he can take a hit? Um, that's pretty much like. Oh, it protects him from protect. that. Okay, it's a yeah. protect. That's an interesting protect. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, obviously, you see uh, uh, Eggy slash rocking it a bunch. So, so if someone attacks you, what what hits through King Shield? Why is King Shield not just the ultimate protect? Is it just because people not everyone can learn it or? Only yeah, only Aegis, Aegis Slash gets um, King Shield, but status moves still go through on it, so you can uh, get burned, paralyzed, confused. Okay, but Protect will protect you from all that stuff. Yes. Okay, so that's so that's why. So you're taking a slight risk uh, if you don't uh, if you don't think you're going to get a status effect, then King Shield's the way to go. But if you if you would rather protect yourself from status effects, then there's always protect. But I think on Smeargle, like Verlis says, King Shield is something that I think works better. Just because it's hilarious, no one would see it coming. So pretty much any physical Pokemon you're going up against will make contact eventually. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so then uh, what do we got right here? So number three, number three in the mm, move set. I was, you can give a stat up move here, and it would work really well. So you could do a Shell Smash. Okay. And it looks like the chat, I don't know if you can read the chat, but it looks like the chat's uh, got a lot of suggestions too. So if you see anything in there that you think is good, uh, feel free to check yeah, it I'm out. Just, I'm paying attention to them, trying to come up with my little idea right now, and it's yeah. going all over the place. Yeah, no worries, no worries, man. And, uh, you, uh, like I said, Smeargle, uh, Smeargle, Smeargle is infinite, so. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, can he learn, like, anything? Just anything, or what? Anything. That's anything. crazy. Yeah. That's why... We, there's some shenanigans right now. <laughs> so after that, you can give him baton pass. All right. So baton pass there. Okay. Awesome. And then, uh, so what you would do is you would uh, shell smash into a baton pass, correct? Yeah. And since he has Moody, use King Shield first. That way, you get one Moody proc. You spore mm -hmm. the next turn, King Shield or shell smash. And then you can use King Shield again into a Baton Pass. You're getting four Moody Boosts, three or four, plus the Shell Smash, which everyone knows what Shell Smash, mm -hmm. do they? 
Yeah, yeah, uh, that's good actually uh, that you said that because Shell Smash, I don't know. We think we went over it, <laughs> do they? I think we went over it a little bit with the Cloister. I think we had Shell Smash on there. But um, so again, for those that might not know, uh, Shell Smash is a crazy move that boosts uh, three stat categories by two and only lowers two by one. So you're going to lose your defense by one stage, but you're, you're going to boost your attack, your special attack, uh, and your speed by two. So it's kind of crazy. Kind of a crazy uh, move there. It's so nasty on those uh, cloisters. What, what do cloisters have again that lets them hit five times? They have the skill link, so that means they're using yeah. skill link with two moves that they can use fully. Super dirty. So so typically you'd want to start out with, say say you were running this, you'd, you'd what, spore somebody, then you'd... Uh, I would maybe, king shield first just king to shield get first. the first proc. Okay, just to get that and lower their attack, then spore if you, if you want to. And then shell smash, and hopefully by that time you're outspeeding everybody, and you're not too damaged, and you can baton pass mm -hmm. before uh, before someone wipes you out with maybe even a priority move. Uh, baton pass does not have priority, if I'm correct, right? You just have to outspeed them. Yeah. Okay. So so you could get stomped by a priority move, but hopefully you've uh, either disabled your opponents enough to where they won't be able to take you out at that point. And then uh, what item do we throw on a smeargle at this point? Uh, people like putting white herb on him just because okay. it gets rid of the defense loss. Okay, restores all lowered stat stages. Okay, that's awesome. So, so would you do that before you baton pass if you can? Uh, it since it's an item, it automatically procs when you use uh, shell smash. Oh, awesome. So, so you'll shell smash. Uh, that'll kick white urban, and then you baton pass, and boom, you have a Pokemon that's just insanely buffed. Like, also, because uh, Smeargle is pretty weak. Some people would like a focus sash on him. Okay. And like both. There's there's a little group of people for each. Some are like, oh. White Herb Shell Smash is better than Focus Sash Shell Smash, so it's pretty much preference on that point. I would personally go with the Focus Sash, just because it guarantees it. Okay, I, some people are saying it might proc off of Moody as well. So should you Shell Smash first, then? Ah, yes, I forgot about it proccing off of Moody. So, then Focus Sash would probably be the better idea, then. Okay, so if you're running a Moody, if you're running a, a Moody Smeargle, then you might want to go with the Focus Sash. Uh, and if you're not running a Moody Smeargle, then maybe go with the White Herb for the Shell Smash uh, to to proc that and then get everything back to normal after you'll be up two stages. It'll just essentially be all in the positive, which is crazy. Going up two stages is game over for a lot of Pokemon. Like you can seriously just drop. Uh, Pokemon at two stages, so it's pretty nasty. So I'll show you guys Focus Sash again really quick for those of you that might have not seen our other videos. Uh, Focus Sash, oops, sorry, a Focus Sash. A Focus Sash will stop uh, a user from getting KO'd if you've never been hit. If it just if, if someone hits you and then it takes you down to zero, you'll stop at the Focus Sash and you'll remain at one health and you'll get one more chance to uh, survive. So that's how the Focus Sash works. And that's why you might want to run it on a Smeargle because Smeargle is a little bit weak. Yeah, and then with the Shell Smash, your speed is getting doubled, which mm -hmm. means you're not going to worry about getting hit, and especially if they're under Spore, it's a mm -hmm. safe little pass-off. Yeah, pass. so there's a lot to it. Uh, is a Smeargle a good 1v1? Is it a good doubles? Is it is it good for both? Is it... What, what, when would you want to run this? A Smeargle would have to be run differently, but this is a great singles opener. Uh... So it's a great singles opener. Okay, okay, so he's a good singles opener, and we were talking about... Um, Going like uh, top 50 or bottom 50, where do you think Smeargle is in chat? Where do you think Smeargle is? Or is oh, Smeargle even on your list? He is incredibly high up on my list, like as in bottom 50, like below 50 to 1 in that. I don't know which way we have it going. I'm kind of confused. All right, well, do you, yeah, do you think he's, uh, do you think it's uh, lower? Like, is he like uh, lower on the list? Because you're, uh, top, like one is number one, that's the best, yeah. right? Okay, so, so where is he, like 52? I thought it was the other way around, because top would be closer to 100. But yes, he's very high up on the list. Okay, high high up as in, yeah, oh, sorry, 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 yeah, so yeah. <laughs> high up as in number one, like top of the line, so that's what I meant. So he's he's up that way. Yeah, he's above 20. Above 20? Just because of his potential, like not this moveset is what makes him 20, but because he can become anything your team needs. Okay, so he's a diverse Pokemon, and that's why you think that he belongs up higher, because if, if you have a team, he can round it out, essentially. Yes, he's also been a part of, I think, two world's winning teams. Oh, really? Yes, 4th Gen, there was a Dark Void Smeargle, because Dark Void was allowed to be used in VGC, because you could sketch Dark Void. Darkrai was banned, but people were using Smeargle with Dark Void, which I think puts both of the opponent's Pokemon to sleep. 
Wow, that's dirty. So is that something that's still around or no? Um, I don't think it's around right now because Darkrai isn't available, so technically the move is not legally available. Okay, is that a move tutor move? Is that why? or? or... Uh, just because only Darkrai has it, and it's only sketchable off of Darkrai. Oh, 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 okay, in that Pokemon. Now, I think when Pokebank comes out, it will be legal again for doubles. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, that's going to be nasty. I wonder if we're, we're going to see people running that then next month at, at VGC. Uh, he is Kalos native, right? That... on what? Holy crap, guys, we're on the front page right now. Oh, wow. Nice. We're at the, we're literally, when you turn on Twitch, I guess we're on the front page. So, hi, new people. Thanks for being here. That's no cool. wonder. I was wondering why there were so, there were some mean people getting yeah. in here. And I was like, that's really weird. There's some rude people in the chat. So, anyway, I guess we're on the front page, supposedly. Hi. <laughs> Didn't even know. Uh, we're going over some competitive uh, Pokemon builds. It's a uh, training Tuesday here on my stream. So, uh, I'm the Justin Flynn uh uh, I guess uh, the host, or this is uh, my channel, and uh, this is uh, Verlis down here. He is uh, helping out with the builds. He is a uh, competitive Pokemon player, and you can see both of our YouTubes below. I guess this is also uh, the chat over here, so you can say hi to those guys if, if you just found us. Uh, not sure if you're into Pokemon or not, but you might learn something, or you might want to pick it up. It's actually a really cool game that uh, is uh, a lot more, um, like, uh, there's a lot of mental stuff to it. It's a chess game, essentially. For those of you that uh, are probably used to like StarCraft or things like that, or or fighters, uh, Pokemon is definitely uh, more of a head game. Uh, kind I would of, say closer uh, to rock paper scissors. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> rock paper scissors. That's true. It's a little bit of rock paper scissors. A little bit more simple than uh, chess. Not quite as calculated, but um, at the same time, it's uh, it's not simple either. It's not a, a little kid's game. It's uh, it's a lot deeper than you think. So we're building Pokemon today for competitive battling. Yeah, yeah thanks, Shadow, awesome for welcoming new people. Yeah, 2.2K, that's because uh, we're on the front page. So, hello again. Like I said, I'm Justin, and uh, welcome to the stream, guys. Good to see you. Let me know uh, if you're here. Say hi, I'm new, or something like that. So, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's. Uh, that's a Smeargle build. Do you have one more that you would like to go over that you think is a, a better way to run Smeargle or a more diverse way? Even, or I don't even know if we can start talking about, like, total Pokemon. We can start talking about maybe just move sets that could work with him. Because uh -huh. a lot of people like seeing Tail Glow on him. Tail Glow Baton Pass instead of that Shell Smash. Okay, Tail, what is it again? Instead of uh, Shell Smash, what is it? Tail? Tail Glow. Tail Glow. I think only Il Muse gets that move. Oops, my keyboard's broken. I know how to spell. <laughs> I know how to spell, I swear. All right, there it is. Tail Glow. Boost user's special attack by three. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. That's stupid. Are you <laughs> kidding me? That's a real thing that happens? It doesn't even have any negatives. That's only because El Muse gets it, I think, or Volbeat. I don't remember which one. Do you but... guys know Volbeat? They're saying and uh, Volbeat. Volbeat. And uh, Volbeat. Yes. It's the only one, or those are the only Pokemon that get it. I think both of them might get it then. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, <laughs> so how would you... Uh, how would you get this move onto Smeargle? This is something we'll have to wait for the Pokebank yes. to be open for? Yeah, and then you just sketch it onto them, and boom. That's cool. So, uh, and then is there someone that does the sketching, or how do, how do you sketch it on? What do you mean sketch it onto him, for those uh, that um, don't know? Smeargle, he gets the move sketch, and it copies the opponent's last used move. Okay, so if you're just in any battle, or if you random encounter that Pokemon, or if your friend has it, and you just say, hey man, fight me and do that, yeah. and I'll sketch it right now? Or if now. you have two DSs, you could just be like, here's my Pokemon that I need to sketch it, and boom. Okay, cool. And then you would, what, replace sketch eventually with something else? Sketch becomes that move. Oh, Sketch becomes that move. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't sure if you use Sketch and then it just replaces something. So that's cool. All right. Oh, there's... There he goes. He's revealed himself. Yeah, it's too bright outside. It's too bright. <laughs> yep, Verlis is that guy. The sunglass guy. All right. So that is a... a, a that well, is I mean, a Smeargle. 